today what I'm gonna do is we're gonna turn these wheels black um, I think I'm deciding to uh, plasti dip it instead of wrapping it just because it's easier to plasti dip uh, since there's so many little intricacies in the uh, in the little uh, spokes and stuff like that so I um, got my shades on got my Christmas pajamas we're gonna plasti dip the, all the wheels black spray the brake calipers red so it's gonna look good hopefully if I don't like it I can always peel it off and start over all right let's get started Alright, so first thing on the agenda is remove the uh, wheels and then um, you clean out the brake calipers and you tape off the sections that you don't want the paint on. This is the paint that I got from um, O'Reilly's. Um, it's like eight bucks. <laughs> and then you just get a plastic bag, you cut it up, you tape it around like that. You poke a hole through there with your hand and then you just stick the brake caliper through. On this side, I did the same thing. I haven't bagged it yet, but I used this uh, just like this barbecue metal wire brush just to brush down the the um, brake calipers there. And from the videos I've seen online, it seems like all you need to do is um, just hit it with a brush and you don't need any primer. You just spray it on there. We'll see. Yeah. Always one step ahead, but I can't seem to feel So here's what we got. Got my paint ninja mask on. <laughs> so I finished spraying the brakes here. And this one. Um, it looks pretty good. Um, this paint works great. Some of it does have an issue where if you look um, right here. Um, it just won't stick for some reason. So, I mean, the nature of the brake is like it's textured. So, I think I need to sand it down a little bit and make it a little smoother so it sticks. But, um, I mean, as far as brakes go, this is just to... You don't have to be perfect. This is just to show the color um, when it's behind the black rims that I'm going to have now. It looks good. I'm going to take this off once it's dried. And then here... Here's the rims. You guys saw me circling this thing like a, like a freaking vulture. <laughs> but um, anyway, the black Plasti Dip is what I sprayed on here. It's kind of weird because I'm used to the white Plasti Dip that I've used before and it didn't go on so thick. Like literally when you spray this on, it was like, let me show you. It's like, big stream so see that like it it shoots globs almost so I'm not sure why this plastic dip is built like that but um, yeah anyway since it's black it doesn't really matter the white one when you spray it you have to be careful of spraying too much and it will cause it to um, when you spray too much of the white one at one time, it will cause it to run. You can totally see the run. On the black, it doesn't really matter that much. Even if it runs, it's black, you can't tell. Before you peel off Plasti Dip, you gotta remember that it, when you spray it and you tape around the edge where you don't want it to hit, 
it will cause the uh, the the dip to act like it's one piece. So once it's dried, you got to take a, a razor or a, a knife and then just cut around the edge where you want to peel, so it doesn't lift the part you don't want it to lift um, when you lift it off. But that's about it. We're gonna let these dry. All right. Here's what we got. <coughs> I taped off around the, the edge here. I wanted to leave the lip chrome and not do the whole rim black. Um, it's a little bit textured for whatever reason. I think the black Plasti Dip um, has a little bit of an issue. When it's coming out of the can really thick rather than real thin. But I haven't really worked with Plasti Dip that much. So I don't know if it's supposed to be like that. But I mean it looks good. It's very matte. Um, as you can see. This is like, I don't know, six, seven coats or something like that. Um, the the black, like I said, is different. When I used the white, it came out real, a lot thinner. And it, it ran, uh, it had a higher chance of running. This, I, it doesn't really matter if it runs because, I don't know, it just blends together well. But it goes on really thick. Um, that's the only thing. And that's the other one there. So, to take off this tape, normally your natural inclination would be to just peel this tape off, but from my past experience, that's a bad idea. What you want to do is take one of these Zacto knives here, and then you want to cut, let's see, so you'll cut around this edge right here, where I want to remove the tape, and then it gives you a, kind of a place to you know, so the dip doesn't uh, pull and peel off when you when you start to peel the tape off. That's a mistake I ran into before. Anyway, all right. So I'm gonna peel this off, and then I'll show you guys the uh, final product. Maybe if it doesn't look very good, I'll just respray the whole rim, um, that the chrome edge there, and then just make the whole rim black. But um, let's see. So it's all done. Here's what we got. This side is all black. <clears throat> the Plasti Dip went on really well. Um, it's pretty interesting. Apparently, it's a little dirty here. Apparently, if you spray one whole giant coat with a spray can, it will, um, and you coat it all like just wet, and you lay it on the on the side or you know on the flat it will look it will look all uh, smooth and wet when you apply it then you let if you let it dry and you don't put any more coats on it it comes out really smooth I didn't really know that I put a second coat on there so it's a little bumpy 
but um, that's good to know for next time when I do it again. Uh, um, this one right here is like that too, so it looks good. It looks really good with the red brakes. Yeah. Now here on this side, we have the silver trim. Let's see, we gotta get a shot here. So that's what it looks like with the silver trim. I don't know. I think the silver looks better. I think I'm gonna go with the silver. Um, there's the brakes, the red brakes you can see through. It looks really good. I like this better than the gray, the gray rims that I had. If they were chrome, it might be a different story, but it was gray, so. So anyway, I'm gonna decide with the silver trim around the, the rim there. So we'll take one look at this as it is with all black rim for all for those of you guys who like the straight up murdered out look. We're going to take one of my wrap razors. I'm just going to run it along this edge right here and cut it and then I can just peel all this silver, um, the part that's covering the silver trim off. So we'll do that. For those of you guys who are curious how Plasti Dip works. I've cut along the edge and look, you just you just pull a little you just make a little break right here and then you just pull it. See that? This stuff is really nice too on things that are very in, very intricate and um it requires it's it's too hard to wrap. But you don't want to make it permanent. So that's why I like it. It's not permanent. Um you can always change it. The only problem with doing the whole car in this is that um, you need a spray gun and the dip spray stuff. Otherwise, you won't get a consistent coat. But for a, uh, a small item, it's very easy to do. So this is the final product. That's kind of nice that this came with that so it matches the color scheme. Um, chickens, Jesus. So the engine in this car uh, is in the back. Haven't done much with it. This is the 1ZZ. So it's just the stock, the pre-cats. The pre-cats are here for you guys who aren't clear about what the heck the pre-cats are on the MR2. Um, these have these have been cleared out because the MR2 had the pre-cat problem where the material in here would is like it's ceramic and it would break apart and then sometimes um, with the backflow of the engine it, it could suck particles back into the engine block right here and it would throw the gears all, all off and um basically make you throw a cam or that's what I've been told but uh, this one uh, I I undid this bolt here this sensor and I undid this sensor over here and it was I was able to see that um, there's no material in there so how you tell is you undo those then you stick a screwdriver all the way down in there and if your screwdriver doesn't contact anything uh, you can see it's a white honeycomb ceramic stuff I think that's that's what it is, but it, it nothing was there when I opened it, so that's why it's um it's good to go. So someone did that for me um, before I bought the car. Um, I did put the engine cover back on. Um, I used the rest of that uh, extra uh, brake caliper paint that's high temp resistant, and I just painted the engine cover to make, just to make a cool little red accent. You know, works with the uh, the scheme of everything. You can tell it's still gray under here because the car is originally gray and um, the uh, the wrap, I'm not going to wrap the inside of the car where you can't see it. Anyway, some of you guys might be asking, why are you just ricing out the car and doing uh, cosmetics mods and not any performance improvement mods? Well, 
my plans for this car is that that engine is still pretty good but to get a good MR2 Spider, what you need to do is just swap out the uh, that engine for the Celica GTS um, engine, the 2ZZ. And uh, I'm just gonna run with that for a while until I can get another car, which could potentially be a project car as well. And I'm gonna drive the other car and then go ahead and pull the engine out on this car. Right now I'm only daily driving with this one, so there's no point in like getting an exhaust, getting an intake. Uh, maybe I'll do an exhaust if it fits the the 1ZZ and the 2ZZ, but I highly doubt it. What I'm going to do is just run it as it is stock until uh, I have enough to do the engine swap and then turbo it and do all the other nice things to it. But in the meantime, we're just going to make it look good. Alright, so if you guys like these videos, go ahead and like and subscribe. And uh, I'll see you guys next time for the next mod. If I don't like it, I can always... These goddamn chickens always crawling when I'm trying to make a damn video. Anyway, I don't like it. And the great thing about Flasty Dip is... If I don't like it, then the great thing about Flasty Dip is that I can always peel it off. And then... Um... <laughs>